I had to find the suspect and I had to eliminate him. He wasn't going to come on campus and hurt my kids. Back here at home, we had a school shooting here in 2001 where a resource officer ran toward the gunfire. New at 11, ABC 10 News reporter Sierra Encinas reintroduces us to that man who many call a hero and has his message to the families in Uvalde. Granite Hills High School was the scene of a school shooting 21 years ago. This is the office of the heroic school resource officer that stopped the gunman. He says every time he hears about a mass shooting like the one in Uvalde, he relives that moment. 1199 The bad guy was standing over there. The suspect was standing over there. He was on the side. He wasn't because I had to check the background. I couldn't shoot if they had the kids in the background. So it aligned up very, very much in my favor that I was able to engage him in an open, clean area. It's a day the El Cajon community won't forget. March 22nd, 2001. It's the day retired officer Richard Agundez sprang into action to protect his students when a gunman terrorized Granite Hills High School. All I remember is that he was there and he was attempting to reload his shotgun and I wasn't gonna let that happen. That was it, he was gonna go down. It took Agundez less than a minute from the moment he called in the shooting to take down the gunman. He tells those who call him a hero he was just doing his job and credits his response to his training as a SWAT officer. The training is vital. They allow us to train, they allow us to shoot, they allow us to go to classes and um, that, that was huge. That's huge. He says he relives the tragedy every time a mass shooting like the one in Uvalde happens. I feel bad for everybody there. It's, it's, it's unimaginable what they're going through. While authorities have said the officers in Uvalde did not respond correctly, Agunda says every situation is different. But we won't know. We just won't know until it all comes down and we realize the facts. That's what I hope everybody realizes. It's not cut and dry, black and white. Agunda says change does need to be made. He tells the families in Uvalde the tragedy breaks his heart. I don't know what you can say. I pray for them all the time. I know the nation does. It's tragic. I know, I mean, I don't know, but I can imagine what they were feeling trying to get in and get their kids. Since 2000, there have been three school shootings in San Diego County. In El Cajon, Sierra Encinas, ABC 10 News.